Yo guys, what is up? This is Scoutmans from Minion Dogs coming back at you with Discord.py episode 12. And today, we're going to be making some custom channel checks. Well, they're not for our channels, they're for our commands. But for our example today, I'm going to be using our channels.py folder. So essentially, the check we're going to be making um, is a decorator that we can add. So you know how here we're checking if they have the permissions to manage the channels. And down here we're checking if it's in a guild, the user running the command has managed channels, and the bot has managed channels. But like, that's a whole three lines of code. And we have to put that on every single file in here, every single command in this file. So what if there was a simpler way to do it? Well, well of course there is. And it's called discord.ext.command.check. And so it's essentially a decorator that adds a check to the command, or it's, you know, sub-commands. And they can be accessed, you know, with their own custom decorator, as we're going to show, or you can run them within the uh, commands.check itself. So, we're just going to start off with a function, you know. What should we do? Let's just, uh, let's take one from the documentation here. Check if it is me. And so this is just a really simple one. Uh, this doesn't make its own decorator, so I, I don't want to use it. But we can go ctx.author.id equals. And then you just put your ID here. And then that'll return a true or false value. And then in here, on our command, we can go at simply at commands.check. Check if it is me. And then that will automatically pass through CTX, and then we just check, and it'll return true or false. So, if the person running the command does not match the ID specified here, then it'll fail, and it'll raise a error. But, I want to be a bit cooler than that. I would rather just have this do this. Ready? Boom. I think that looks a bit cooler, you know? So, how do we do that? And why don't we make one in relation to what we're actually doing? So, we've got to check three different things for each command here. So, we're going to make it into its own little at uh, decorator. And the way we're going to be doing this is by putting a function within a function. And so, essentially, the checks take a predicate, and this will always be a coroutine. So, it always means that you have to await it. And so, even if the original function is not, the function returned by predicate is. So, essentially, what that means is we're going to make a little nice little function within a function up here. I'm just going to pull this one up. And we're going to go our underscore custom underscore check because we cool. takes no parameters. But we are going to make another function within here that is asynchronous. Right, okay. CTX. And then we're going to return. So let's let's copy and paste this from down here. We know, you know, just check what we need to return. So we need to check all of these things off. So is is it within a guild? So CTX dot guild is not none a nice little backslash so we can make it multi-line and that way it looks nice so and ctx.author what, what are we what are we checking here that they have managed channels so that'll be guild uh, underscore permissions and then what is it manage underscore channels another backslash and what else do we need to check that the bot has its permissions as well. So how do we do that? So to access the bot's member client, it's just ctx.me. And then we're just gonna copy this across. And so that that's these three here, done. But we're not quite finished yet. You see, that's the function, but we do have to return commands.check. Okay. No need to call it. So you notice either way we do have to return a commands.check, but this way it means we can make our own custom decorator. And by doing that, it means we can quite simply just copy this down here. You see this really big boy here? Gone. And then we just put an at, our function name, boom. So now if we just go ahead and run the bot, pull up Discord real quick, jump under here. It's the bot running, sweet. So what command did we actually put this on? Let's just have a quick look. We put it on the new one. So let's jump into here and just do new. Now, I don't have the permissions to run this command, which is exactly what we'd expect. So if I get rid of the, the delete one as well, 
So it's working exactly as expected. You're, you're missing manage channels permission to run this command. And you're missing manage channels permission to run this command up here. Except the way we've set it up is the check functions for this command failed. So it's slightly different. You don't get the proper trace back there. But that's just something else you just handle it a bit differently in your on command error and then you're all good. So this is just essentially one of our own custom checks. So you just have to set it up yourself type of thing. Whereas this one's built in with this .py so it raises it precisely. But either way, it's fine because our bot is still tripping the same thing in on command error. It's still telling us that we lack permissions to use this command. But what about in DMs? Nothing. Nothing. And that's because it is not a guild, so it returns false as well. And that's the wrong Discord. <laughs> that's the one y'all are in. This is my Discord. <laughs> well, the project's Discord. My Discord's a bit further down on the list, unfortunately. But uh, that's essentially it for this episode. It's a really nice, quick episode. And we're just going to be able to just take this our custom check, go through all of our commands, and replace all three here with that. And so essentially anything you can do with CTX here, you can make into a check. So you want to you, you want a command to only run in a certain guild. You just check uh, ctx.guild.id equals your guild ID. What if you want to check if the certain person has a role? Well then you can just check ctx.author.roles and be like, hey, does this uh does the author of this command have the um moderator role if not don't run the command please because they lack the permission but uh that's essentially it for this this episode um you know as always if you want any help with anything feel free to jump in our discord you know flick us a message in the help channel with your code your era you know what's up otherwise uh that's it for now guys and we will see you in episode 13 with our mute command